All right, so Randy's here from Dayton, Ohio, and uh, you're an IT guy there, right? I am the director of IT for a small company we own, 30 Verizon Wireless uh, cellular stores. So um, out here, you're probably do like just hooking up wires and things like that, and uh, hooking up wireless networks. You're not doing any hard work, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's all hard work, but uh, yeah, we've been going through and debris houses, and uh, uh, a lot of these homeowners uh, they, they don't have insurance or they're underinsured, so we go and just take all the debris out of their house, around their house, get it out to the curb. Uh, we've gotten uh, some contacts. It's just amazing the way the Lord's worked of bobcats, backhoes, forklifts. Can I help you? You need to stay out of the kitchen. I want to thank you for doing this. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. But Thank you very much. You are very welcome. It's an honor and a privilege. I'll never forget you as long as I live. Say that, man. Tell us thank you real loud. Thank you very much. All right. I'll never forget you as long as I live. All right. Thank you, brother. Thank you. you know him? No idea. So Anyways, anyway, yes, you, you we are the doing neighbor. all hard work uh, out there just trying to meet uh, people and the Lord is continuing to bring houses that uh, need to be worked on and crews and uh, well, how are you finding them you like you just go out at night and hold up a sign that says we'll work well, for food or what go out at night um, I've been just as I see people walking uh, you know tell them who we are tell them what we're about ask them if they know anybody that's the house that we're working on today that's how we got that house now tell me about the lady there well her name's Millie 81 year old uh, woman she's lived there 11 or 17 years uh, and uh, uh, she was at the house when the tornado uh, hit, but uh, we've been working there two days, and she came finally back today, and we got a chance to uh, to meet her, but uh, she's just a sweet old woman, and uh, she broke down and said she sat up all night praying that somebody would come along and, and help her at her house because she doesn't have insurance coverage to do uh, demolition or debris removal. And though her house is fairly intact, her garage was destroyed. So she has no money, insurance money, to demo that garage and remove all her debris. And that's what we started doing this morning. And uh, she's just real appreciative. But through that, and what really I think is so cool about this experience, the group I'm working with uh, from Kansas, uh, youth, very hard workers, uh, you know, a lot of what we do is the hard work, the physical labor, but we're also sent here by the Lord to, to minister to people. And sometimes right. it's just sitting there and listening and talking to people. And, and two of the young ladies here uh, just went off and, and talked to Millie. Uh, we sat her down in a chair. We, we prayed for her. She was very appreciative. And uh, she really broke down and, and, and hugged us all. And, and you just never know. How the, the Lord's going to touch some of these youths and give them a heart permission when they see that. When they see these people of, of, of how appreciative they are, you know, and, and they don't realize how we're getting blessed by doing the work. Right. Just, right. Know, it was a really cool story, and I've had a chance to meet some of the homeowners, but uh, the older ones like that that understand and, and, and just strong in the Lord, and she, she, she just doesn't know where the Lord's going to take her from here. Right. But he's obviously got something planned for her and, and just, you know, she needs to be out of her comfort zone. And right. When we do that, when we're out of the boat, we got our eyes on Jesus, no telling what, what he's going to do for us. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. It's just a great. Uh, so one of my friends said something about how, when they saw the, the level of the devastation and saw everything, they said, how do you know you're making a difference? How do you know you're making a difference? One house, one person at a time. Exactly. Exactly. You know, we're going out, you know, you get into this and you, and, and you, you know, you drive into this mess and you, where, where do I even start? But that's, that's where the stillness and the faith comes in and, and the Lord every day has provided somebody that needs our help because they don't have the money uh, and we can bring a massive amount of help to one person or one family. Now, when I came out here, I thought that you were part of the package deal with Chris and Tamara and no. McRae, and then I found out that they weren't even a package deal. No, They'd never met was... before three weeks ago. No. How no, did you find this group? How did you connect with them? Well, I had a, uh, a church group that I knew of that had come down three weeks ago that somehow they found Rocky, who 
he's the first trailer that came here the day after, uh, found him, so they told me about him. And I called him because I had checked with AmeriCorps over at the university. Right. And was going to do work for them, uh, but when I talked to Rocky, he said, you know, you might want to check with us first. He goes, we're just out. We don't have all the regulations. We're just out helping the people, and that's, that's the kind of person I am. Right. So uh, I knew he was here, and uh, uh, this is exactly nothing against what they're doing over at the university, but I just want to be out there touching the locals and, 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 and trying to experience what they, they went through. In fact, last night was the first time I got on YouTube and I actually saw the tornado that hit this town. Okay. I can't believe it. I yeah. can't believe there's just only 150 some people died. And that's, you know, I've said over and over, two things that just just continue to amaze me. One is the scale and the magnitude of the devastation, and two is the minimal loss of life given that whole neighborhoods are gone. Neighborhoods, a mile wide, six miles long, yeah. are gone. Yeah. They're gone. gone. Yeah. And and only 150 people were, were killed. Yeah. 156 people, and it just uh, it amazes me. Yeah, yeah. I talked to a buddy of mine uh, this morning, and I and I told him when I first saw this, the only thing I could think of was pictures I've seen from Hiroshima, and I said that, and I am not exaggerating. I said that is what this place looks like. I uh, I had breakfast with a Corps of Engineers guy this morning, yeah. and uh, he said the same thing. He yeah. was from he was from uh, New York and out here, and he said when he first saw this, he thought Hiroshima. Yeah. Yeah.